the first question I'll ask is what species of ant? I'm understanding um, the difference between species, how it's important. Not only the inspection of the environment you're treating in, not only the weather that's coming actually in or just past that could keep ants moving, um, that's another part of this integrated pest management. We're treating an environment as well as a pest. Just some simple questions, understanding that the life cycle of the insect, to know how they live makes it easier for us to kill them because the other part about it is we've got different species of ants that are, are polymorphic or monomorphic. You know, they have a single queen or they have many queens. So if you're expecting a little bit of ant gel to work on a monomorphic society, it may work because you've killed the queen. But if you've got a polymorphic species which has many queens, it may take a lot more gel than what you think is actually getting there. So we've got a lot of things to understand and that's the part of the R&D we do. So when you go and do treatments, you've got to understand what you're treating. Am I treating a coastal brown ant, a pharaoh ant, a ghost ant, um, or even a red and poured and fire ant? With ants, a classic example is we have two ant gels, OptiGuard ant gel and Advian ant gel. One's got um, uh, indoxacarb in it being the Advian ant gel and the other one has a product called Thymex Optum in OptiGuard. Two different chemistries behaving a similar way except for that one has a different loading of proteins compared to sugars and the other one has a different load of sugars compared to proteins to try and get them to feed. The OptiGuard seems to last longer in exposed weather conditions, so external on gazebos, not in direct sunlight or direct weather, but out in gazebos and in palm fronds and those sort of things in sheltered places around uh, barbecue areas, um, whereas the Advian has a bit more pickup. It's got a bit more high sugar content for those ants that come in and get into your, uh, your sponges around your kitchen sink, your toothbrushes around your vanity units, or get into your sugar um, you know, or honey and that in your pantry, those sort of sugar feeders.